What's good guys, it's TSG. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my thoughts on the Alluvium Lantel now that it's over, now that I've got my rest back, I've caught up on some sleep, and I actually have time to process everything that went down and, and just a crazy weekend that happened. Before I start talking about all of the things that kind of happened over the, the event, I want to leave you guys with a bit of a tip just to start off the video. And this is a massive shout out to Froba. He kind of pointed me in this direction. Um, and I want to kind of just drop this with you guys at the start of the video as well. And that is for all of you guys that haven't bought land or are looking to purchase land, um, you can still do that now that the land sale is over on the secondary marketplace. And you actually have two options to do this. You either have a Mutable X marketplace or the Illuvidex itself. And I'm actually going to show you which one is better. So if we have a look at this plot of land as an example in Shard Bluff Labyrinth, uh, you've got one on plot uh, 842 to 347, that's the coordinates. Um, and you can see here on the Immutable X marketplace, this is being sold at 0.371. Um, and this includes all of the fees. If you now go onto the Illuvidex with the exact same plot, uh, 842, 347, it's the exact same plot, uh, it's 0 0.3675. So it is slightly, slightly cheaper. And the reason for that is, is Immutable X is obviously trying to collect a little bit more of a fee. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's either 1% or 2% difference. Um, and it might not seem like a lot, but uh, it does add up. So if you are able to save yourself some money on that thing, just... If you can, direct yourself to uh, the Illuvidex instead. Uh, maybe if you want to use the Mutable X to find the plots of land that you want, um, but just make the purchase on Illuvidex. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below. The first thing I want to talk about with the land sale is if we have a look on the screen, we can have a look right now that it says that they were selling 20,000 plots and they sold 19,969. So some of you guys might say that wasn't successful. There are 31 plots left. But actually, well, the 31 plots, so two of those were the T5s that were pushed back, so they weren't on sale anyway. And the other 29 were held by Alluvium themselves for giveaways and things like that. So in actuality, they sold out. In the three, in the three days that they went, they sold out, uh, gaining $72 million. And that is incredible. In a bear market like this, uh, $72 million, I think, is incredibly incredibly successful so a massive massive well done to all of Illuvium the marketing the back-end people just everyone for for making this amazing so what I want to talk to you about now is actually the experience of this land sale and I'll speak for myself honestly it was one of the most some of the most fun that I've had in a very 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 long time the full three days legitimately felt like a full gaming party with your friends for day one, it was insane because obviously we were trying to, that was where the, the price discovery started. Everything sold off really quickly on the first batch. Oh, I say really quickly, about 40 minutes. Um, so the Dutch auction obviously worked. Also, yeah, before I start talking about my experience, I want to say that, man, congratulations again on the Dutch auction because there was no gas wars. That was amazing. No one was FOMOing in. Um, it was just a very, it was successfully done. And it was, I think the user experience was incredible. And so now I'm going to talk about my experience. On day one, we started with batch one, batch two. And I was talking to one of my guys, Steve, on, on Discord the whole way through. We were kind of just chatting to each other and kind of saying, all right, cool. This is what they were sold. I was taking notes, catching the data like everyone else. And we noticed that the first couple of batches were being sold higher. Um, obviously, because Fobo was in, they wanted to get in first. No one kind of knew what to expect. Um, but as it went on, I think I, mean, I personally stayed up till 5 a.m., um, I forget what batch it was. It was, it was pretty crazy. But I stayed up till 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. Uh, but we kept on watching the price go lower and lower, discovering that that floor. Um, but after that, we kind of noticed that it started to kind of just stay stay similar. So, And that was around the 55-minute mark, 55 to 60 minutes, 62, I think maybe 67 was the peak that we saw, um, but roughly around that time frame. So that's kind of when we knew we were going to buy in the next day. So after sleeping at 5.30, I woke up at 8.30 the next day. And I believe Skarix had already started his stream. So, and also, yeah, man, a huge, huge shout out to all of the content creators that were streaming, jumping on streams. Again, like I said, I had so much fun jumping from, from my stream, Skarix's stream, Julio's stream, Frobe's stream, uh, oh man, Vetimore's stream. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anyone. Just jumping about and having good chats, good banter, and man, again, it was just a great time. So we came into the second day understanding where the price floor was at, um, and that's where I kind of knew that, all right, this is where I'm going to start making my moves. 
Um, so like I've shown you guys before, I'm going to bring it up again now. The first plot of land that I got was this tier three. I got two tier threes as my first plots. Um, I did pay a premium for them, but obviously, luckily, they came out really, really well. They came out with the first one here is an eternal spring with five lakes uh, and everything else is pretty, pretty balanced. So it's in my opinion, it's it's a really, really good. I think it's a I would say S tier, um, A plus tier. Uh, I would say A plus tier land right there. The second one that I have is this one here, which is has a halogenic geode and a silicon, and I have four silicons. So again, not a bad, and everything else is pretty balanced. A uh, bunch of Krypton, a bunch of Solon, um, no Hyperion, but I mean, you can't win them all. In my opinion, an A tier, again, I, this is completely subjective, and I'm just kind of going off that. Um, so I bought these two. I said I was going to wait, but again, I decided not to, and I just bought a couple of more tier ones. Um, this one here, pretty balanced, best you can do for a tier one. I get not the best, but I mean, what can you do? Uh, and this one, which I people have told me, there's no such thing as trash land. I get it when we're talking about other people's pieces of land, but mine, I am willing to say that this is trash. <laughs> but it's part of the game, and that's what like it's crazy. Just looking at me smile right now, even recording this, I can't believe I paid for this. I'm calling it trash, but I'm smiling. Like that is how much fun this whole process was. So I kind of did that for the second day and kind of just chilled out for the rest of it. I jumped on stream a bunch of times. On the second day, I actually moved some liquidity over just because I knew I just couldn't stop. Like the addiction was real. I was having way too much fun. And after this, this bad like pick as my last pick, I couldn't end it on a bad, bad spot like that. So I moved the liquidity over the next day on day two, I ended up picking up another tier one. Um, and actually I want to address a few people have asked me, why did I get all of mine in Shard Bluff and not go for a mega city? One, the mega city thing I, is super dope and I'm super excited to see what they do, but I did not want the headache of possibly getting sniped for it, um, trying to build something. And then I just knew I'd be gutted if that happened, um, having to pay premium and then just getting it taken away. I just didn't want to deal with that. I'd rather just buy it randomly and, and just see how it plays out. So all five of my plots are in Shard Bluff Labyrinth. The reason for that is I really, really want to just focus on the earth and fire, the magma, um, alluvial. So your Scarioxes, your Titan ore, Seaforus, your granites. Uh, those are the blueprints that I really want to get. So instead of spreading myself out in a whole bunch of different areas, I really want to focus on one, try and make that happen and um, see how it works out. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right decision uh, now that we've, kind of being told about the sacrificing three alluvials per skin. Um, that means I'm going to have to be running through a lot of titanos if I want to be just maximizing all of these skins. But let's see. Let's see how it all plays out. Yeah, and for the rest of the day, I went on stream with a whole bunch of different guests just chatting about the land sale, um, trying, trying to help people uh, whale snipe, uh, just discussing the floor prices and how it's been stabilizing, what we're expecting for day three. Most people expected the, the floor price to go up on day three for the last people trying to FOMO in and buy what they need to complete those, those mega cities. And on day three, that's exactly what happened. The floor price kind of went up. So essentially day one, it started high. It went down very, very quickly. Day two, it kind of stabilized at the bottom. Uh, and day three towards the end, it kind of started going back up. So in regards to how the Dutch auction actually went, it was, like I mentioned at the start of the video, incredible. Um, I really hope a lot of other projects learn from this and look at this as a, a really good example. Um, I think the the way that they executed this was was of a top tier. Uh, there were small things that could have been improved, but overall, uh, very, very well done. And the last thing I actually want to touch on before we end the video is the fact that the two tier fives were actually pushed back. So some people are saying that, oh man, it should have been done together. I'm actually of the belief that I'm glad that it got pushed back. That way it was actually possible for us trying to buy the land to focus on our thing, uh, trying to just not get distracted uh, and just have a good time. Have a, like I say, a gamer party with all of our friends, all of the other community members, content creators, and just enjoy this moment for this moment. And it allows us to actually build up the next moment and create something similar again. So I'm actually really, really happy that they did push it back. I'm really interested to see what they do with that. But if this is anything to go off, I'm putting all of my money down that the next tier five land sale uh, event is going to be, again, of a top tier standard. 
And I'm really excited to see what us content creators can do to, to add on to that hype and have a good time. Because honestly, like I said, awesome, awesome 72 hours, man. Made so many more friends, just talked a lot of crap. Uh, it was just good. It was just good. I've been coined uh, the FOMO fluencer. Thank you, Frobe and Vulcan. Um, I don't know how I got that. But I'm glad. I hope you guys are happy with your plots of land. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble on about the land sale. Uh, I didn't come into this with a set structure. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there in a very natural kind of just say it as it is way. Really curious for you guys to share some of your plots of land down below with me. What are your thoughts? Are you happy with your pulls? Are you disappointed? I know scarix has got a a less than favorable tier three. And I still laugh about it. I, I know I shouldn't, but... <laughs> I do. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking about your plots of land, what regions you got. Just kind of talk to me down below. I'm really still feeling all of the energy for this land sale, and I'm really, really excited for what's to come with the Louvatars, actually. It's going to be a whole thing. But anyway, that's another video. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching again. If you like this type of content, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.